condyloma acuminata the condyloma acuminata it is also called as venereal warts and commonly called as genital warts are caused by a group of viruses which are called as human papilloma viruses the genital warts are one or more in number painless soft and fleshy growths that usually appear one or two months after the exposure but they can also take as long as 9 months to incubate some warts seem so small that they can only be identified with a colposcopic exam of the cervix and the vagina or during a pap smear the genital warts are sexually transmitted that means they are spread by sexual contact with an infected person and are very contagious approximately 2/3 of all the persons who have sexual contact with an infected partner will develop this sexually transmitted disease and the doctors observed that the warm moist environment in the genital areas seems to be the favorable factor for the growth of these viruses these outbreaks can be exacerbated during the pregnancy and in patients with defective immune systems the patients with a history of genital wart may be at increased risk for certain types of cancers that is because the human papilloma virus is associated up to 90% of all the cervical malignancies and they play a major role in the cancers of vagina anus uvula and the penis the cervical warts may be transmitted to the newborn via the passage through the infected birth canal symptoms the genital warts are raised flesh colored lesions on the genitals anus and the surrounding skin and they may appear as cauliflower like growths around the anus and the genitalia and usually it is asymptomatic and the common symptoms of the genital warts include abnormal vaginal bleeding after the sexual intercourse increased dampness or moisture in the area of the growths itching of the anal area or the vulva the increased vaginal discharge multiple sexual partners and not knowing if someone you have sex with stds in the early age when you start to be sexually active these can be the factors which put you at a higher risk for getting the genital warts and other complications of the virus stress and other viral infections such as hiv and the herpes usage of birth control pills also increases the risk of the genital warts in other viral infection like hiv as the patient is already immunosuppressed the genital warts caused by human papilloma virus develops easily the human papilloma virus infects the abraded skin and the most common visible type of the human papilloma virus is 6 and 11 these are the common visible types of this virus and the hpv 16 and 18 are the most aggressive type of viral strains the hpv 6 and 11 type are rarely associated with invasive squamous cell carcinoma and the hpv 16 and 18 type which are aggressive types are associated with cervical and anal dysplasia so the cervical cancer is caused by the hpv 16 and 18 these genital warts are usually diagnosed with direct visual examination and when the acetic acid or the vinegar is swabbed on the cervix the hpv lesions appear whitish so this is the main point to remember during the diagnosis colposcopy is a painless examination during which a lightened magnifying instrument is used to view the internal reproductive organs in the woman so the colposcopy is also used to diagnose the genital warts and in some cases it is necessary to do a biopsy of the cervical tissue this involves taking a small sample of the tissue from the cervix and then examining it under the microscope these warts often occur in groups and they can accumulate into large masses on the genital tissues they often reappear after the treatment 
A podophyllin solution which is applied on the affected area and washed off after several hours. Podophyllin should not be used during pregnancy because it is absorbed by the skin and it may cause birth defects. Small warts can be removed by freezing that means using liquid nitrogen or burning which is called as electro desiccation. Imicumod it is a 5% cream that is an interferon inducer has produced moderate activity in clearing external genital warts. The surgical treatment include cryosurgery, electrocatheterization, laser therapy or cutting them out. In complications, at least 70 types of HPV have been identified and they have been linked to cervical and uvular cancer. These warts may become numerous and they may become quite large requiring more extensive treatment and follow-up procedures. The prevention. If you develop genital warts, all of your sexual partners must be examined and they must be treated if the genital warts are found. In a new vaccine which is called as Gardasil, it prevents the infection against four of the HPV strains which are responsible for the majority of the genital warts and even the cervical cancers. This vaccine is given at the series of three shots and it is recommended for girls and women of ages 9 to 26. So guys, this is all about the lecture on genital warts also called as condyloma acuminata. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. And do check on my recent videos and playlists.